Emily and Savannah from Hooters. Aurora are here hanging out with us. We're going to go through the challenge here so we can show you guys how easy it is. Jeff on his pad here, um, which, again, his pad, it's super easy, and his pad's all porned out. It only opens in safe, safe mode. mode. Yeah, shoot. Yeah, so um, even Jeff can do this challenge because all you need is, boom, your email address, and then give me a couple questions that they're going to ask us. Are so you 21 plus? I can touch screen yes on that. Yeah. Who will win? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm 2-0 and on this question Okay. in the last two weeks because I've gone against the Broncos. Broncos or Bucks, who will win? There's no spread on this, guys. It's just a straight up who will win, Broncos or Bucks. I'm going to start with this one, Bucks. There, I said it. it. Mainly the Florida thing, and the Bucks are hot, and Baker Mayfield, he's a, a guy that people – want to play hard for and with. Okay. Are we going to give a final score? Or we're just going to give a prediction. Do you want to give a um, final score? Let's do that real quick. The, well, the, the next question is over under oh. 39, so we can mix it together. I, Basically, when you give your score, we do the math. For and we'll sure. When you're trying you're to come it. up with 39 in your head, it's harder to just give us the score. So I'm going over 39 because I'm going to go with something like 31 to 11. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's go to you, Alex, and then we'll go to the girls. Uh, I got Tampa Bay 24 to 9 in this one. Okay. Um, so that's under. Under. Emily? Uh, I'm going to go with the Bucks. Unfortunately, I don't know how I feel about the Broncos playing so far. Mm. Uh, I think I'm also going to go under, but it's going to be very close. Okay. So you, that, think you think that under's coming because um, the Broncos hold the Buccaneers to a low number, or do you think it's because they hold themselves to a low number? I think holding themselves back. I think they're yeah. holding themselves to a low number. You're good today, Emily. I think Thanks. the Bucks can go down that road of they know they don't have to do too much and get too risky and frisky and dangerous to beat the Broncos. So if that's the case, then that's why this does slide to an under because, you know, they're like, hey, well, let's just run the, you know, the hell out of the ball and we'll have a few opportunities to make some plays because they got a lot of talent. But um, I mean, ahead. the nice thing about this Steelers game was it was a close game coming down the stretch. It wasn't a blowout. I just gave a 20 point lead or something, but if you can have it within one possession coming down, even if it's just to get to overtime. They have been in those games. Yes, both games. Okay. Coming down the stretch in the fourth quarter. So uh, ho hopefully it'll be close, and that's why it's under, because maybe the Broncos aren't scoring, but that defense they have has been really phenomenal. Talk to me. Okay. Well, I think the Bucks will win. Score, I'm going to say 27-17. I think they're going to lose the game by seven or more. So, you know, okay. I think the Bucks look good. And we haven't found our like stride or our groove yet. So with that, we have to have experience. Let me add on to what you're saying. I like that yeah. quite a bit because the, the Bucks are in a groove. They're building off of mm -hmm. last year. They played in the playoffs last year. They're building off of last year. They got a belief in themselves. They got a great head coach. They got a, you know, a spitfire quarterback in Baker Mayfield who it's hard to not like. Even Top if five you, you can not like him, but it's like, I kind of like him. There's not a lot of guys who's like, man, I don't like He's him. He's got some Brett Favre in him. I kind of like Yeah, where you're like, you know? I do like that boy, actually. Yeah. Um, now, Tampa's nice. Now, you got, you girls both grew up in the Florida area. Did you ever – there's three teams. There's Jacksonville, there's the Dolphins, and there's the Buccaneers. Which one did you did you lean towards, or were you more college, or didn't care? I was a baseball kid. Really? I am. Who's I your favorite say, baseball player? Yeah. Who's the, the greatest Ortiz. Marlin of all time? Jeff Conine? No. Greatest Marlin of all time? It's got to be a pitcher, right? Who's the greatest Marlin of all time? Mike Pudge? Giancarlo? Pudge Rodriguez? No. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. I think Conine's up there. Yeah. He won two World Series. Absolutely. With Conine's definitely up there. I think... Uh, Miguel Cabrera could Mike, be considered. Yeah, Mike Stanton. It's got to be. Uh, Who would you say? I'm sorry? I said Miguel Cabrera could yeah. be considered. What about Josh Beckett? Josh Beckett. Josh Johnson. Dontrell. Dontrell. Yeah, Dontrell got hot Mike for a minute. Now we're just being guys Mike at Lowell. Hooters that sit there and name baseball players from the mid... 2000s. Yeah. You uh, said David Ortiz? David Ortiz. I love Big that. Poppy. Big Poppy. Okay, okay, I like that. Okay. Big Poppy. Um, I think that Tampa Bay wins this game. Uh, the Broncos had their chances. Those were winnable games. And now you're playing a team that is superior in a lot of ways and has got, you know, oozing machismo. They got a lot of confidence. I think that uh, the Broncos probably get some kind of 31 21. And the 21 comes from, like, a late score. They never really are in it. Um, that's what I'm thinking here. Danny Bailey, what do you think? What are you going with? Give me a score here. Step up to the microphone. Man. Right here, the stud. The big He's single ladies. Uh, you want my pick for the game? Yes. Well, You're gonna I'm a big later. fan of Baker Mayfield, and he's playing great this year. The Bucks are scary. Uh, 
I'll take the Bucks twenty four, Broncos seven. Ooh. Seven is more than six, though. It's one more than six. That is true. Yeah. So that's a step in the right direction. Boy, that's a bummer. You know, we got that one. That just sounds terrible. <laughs> Alex Becker, uh, prediction, okay, for the game. Oh, you gave your prediction yeah, already. Yeah, 24-9. Uh, I meant your order, order. Alex's. Mm. Okay. Order. I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, app, we'll go uh, cheese sticks this time. Lovely. Okay. Fried mozzarella cheese with marinara sauce. Mm. Uh, enough said. Mm. Um, so, yeah. And then we get into, I'm going to get a burger this time. Went with the wings. Well, we went with seafood two weeks ago. Wings last week. It's burger time. You're going to customize run. that burger, or are you just going to grab something off the menu that they put together? Home run burger. First thing, uh, first burger choice. Okay. Is that four patties I'm counting? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Single, oh, double, triple, oh, yeah. dingers. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if I have some room left, that's a, that's quite a bit of food Oof. for me. Yeah. Um, we'll finish it off with the key lime pie. Shoot. What the Sigma? Yeah. You don't want any <laughs> toppings on your burger? No wing sauce, no cheese, no bacon. All right. Now now you got me thinking. How about some of the, the new wing sauce that you mentioned okay. last okay. segment? Now all we're right, talking. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, would you like a alcoholic beverage to go with that? Yes. Whatever uh whatever beer specials is going on. Can okay. I say your get, ID? I'd say get <laughs> dos dos equises. Okay. So there'd That's be four equises. Okay. For the tall there. one. Um, That's quattro. It should be seconds. noted Thursday nights the kids are eating free ride, or you got the family bundle that you can feed the whole family for thirty one thirteen, mm-hmm. and then Saturday, man, Saturday college football Saturday again. Kids will eat free with the purchase of an adult entree. Yeah. I mean, I keep telling them dads, them dads are like, let's go meet a Hooters. I'm like, let's go on Saturday. Kids eat free. You know what I tell those dads? I say, we're not being rebellion. Saturday we're being frugal. Saturday eating wings. I got them from Hooters Aurora. Nice. You're good. Thank well, you. I'll work on that. We'll work on that. We'll get that next week. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have some time here. The challenge, uh, hey, I do yeah. I do want to see. I can't wait for Golden Mark to come in here. Get his He's bag. He's going to be very happy with this. He's stoked. He's a great listener. He's a great friend Loyal. of the program. Um, he's funny, too. He gets all the bits. But what's really going to be great is when he puts on that Hooters apron. Yeah. And sends us that selfie. And it most likely will probably, he'll probably be golfing at that time. He might golf. With the Hooters apron on, yeah. you know, drinking out of the flask and maybe using the umbrella to stay out of the rain. At the CK Cup. He's going to use them all. Yeah. The CK Cup's running real expensive this year. I know. What I don't like it. I don't like how Denver did me like that. Jeez. Why, why don't you go to Heather Gardens or something, you know? Denver's doing me wrong, man. I don't like it. That's for another time and place, though. <laughs> That's why you go to Aurora for your Hooters. <laughs> stay out of Denver. Uh, okay. Um, let's see here. Any last Hooters stuff you guys want to get in? Um the challenge go sign up on our social medias mile high sports is and uh, on the website as well it's super easy to do they don't need all your info all they need is your email and then anilo and these guys will um you know hit you back if you win and win those wings for a year that's pretty sweet it really is mm-hmm. it's it is. really easy we to do have to, yeah. Yeah. we got calendars coming up soon okay that's okay. calendars all those coupons yeah. it's going to be a great time Maybe some signings in the near future. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, talk about like the things they do at some Hooters. Like, uh, don't they have like a Trivia. bingo Mario it's Kart the thing? There's all kinds so. of stuff like that. <laughs> talk about some of that stuff. Talk about the fights. Canelo just uh, knocked some dude out again this last weekend. Fight. Yeah. Great that fight. was pretty cool. Um, you could have saw all that at any of the Hooters locations for free, right? Mm-hmm. And it's fun. Yeah. It is fun. Okay. Fun. Um, Jeff Gersh. Yeah. What? When you take George and the kids to Hooters, I know they're big fans. Alice gave it a 9 out of 10. What did she have that day in particular? Oh, she knows exactly. She had the sliders. Well, yeah. I mean, we almost went like two days ago, three days ago. She's like, right, can we get the sliders? I was like, we just had ice cream. Yeah. We left the ice cream Man. creamery, and they were like, now can we go to Hooters and get some lunch? After was, ice cream? She knows what she wants. Yeah. yeah. What kind goes, of freak show is that? She goes, Dad, I scored two goals in soccer, and oh. I should get to have two requests She's right. Today. She's right. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. a good I agree. Yeah. If she Alice scored a couple of goals, window. you got to let her have yogurt lander. And what's crazy about it is Alice had a preconceived notion in her mind that Hooters wasn't it or wasn't for her. And then she got there and had the time of her life. And I think I think that happens to the best of us. So yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Um, every time I go, we have a great time. And it's like it, <laughs> When's it's the last got time everything you-, you like. We we you know, we found ourselves there times before where it's like you're doing the thing with the boys, you're watching the sports, you can go there with the kids after playing disc golf, you can like 
Lenny's is right across Listen, the Hooters shop. Food, you know, Hooters has a reputation for lots of things, but not enough for their really good food. You know, and the I food's think killer. I heard a tagline once that Hooters makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Yep. I've heard that. Before. Well, and if Hooters doesn't that. have it mm-hmm. on the menu, then you don't need it in your tummy. Exactly. That's true. Take that for data. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a loud one today. That one hurt a little bit. Take that for data. All right, that's the whole show. Alex, get us out of here. We appreciate you guys being here. Tell Lauren thanks. Good job.